President Tinebu inaugurates Renewed Hope Livestock Reform Implementation Committee to address farmers' headers issues. Provide impetus to enable Nigeria to finally take advantage of livestock farming. Senate seeks payment of compensation to victims of violence in Nigeria. This therefore calls for a review to introduce elements of intention. Nigeria Economic Summit Group and Federal Government inaugurates Joint Planning Committee for 30th Summit. And a good morning, Nigeria. Today, we shall focus on flooding, mitigating impact. All right. For many Nigerians, flooding is understood to be excess water resulting either from direct rainfall or overflow of uh, river banks that submerges land and can cause damage to the environment, wildlife, human beings, and of course, the country's economy. That's true. And uh, the 2022 flood in Nigeria was the, the worst in a decade, causing 603 deaths, 1.4 million displacements, and 82,035 damaged homes. The 2022 floods also affected 332,327 hectares of land. 110 hectares of agricultural land was also destroyed and uh, inflation in food prices soared to 23%. Of course, and there were also many other consequences uh, resulting from that. And that's why Good Morning Nigeria has, you know, devoted you know many episodes of this program to the issue of flood and flooding now it's one of the uh, very serious uh, natural disaster issues that we have focused on uh, of course uh, on the seasonal rainfall predictions also by NIMAT then of course the flood predictions by NISA and getting states, emergency agencies, SEMAs, NEMA as well, and other key players uh, in this area to analyze how they use the predictions to avoid devastating impact. In 2023, at least 33,983 people were affected by flooding in 10 states of the country, while 7,353 people were displaced due to rising water levels. 75 people were injured and five people died with 1,679 houses and 866 hectares of farmland destroyed or if you like seriously damaged. And states mostly at risk uh, include Kogi, Benue, Adamawa, Bochi, Bono, Gombe, Taraba and of course Yobe. But despite early warnings it will seem that many state governments um, you know, did not prepare for uh, the incident. Now, the Nigerian government activated its own national response plan ahead of the seasonal, you know, uh, flooding predictions, uh, which was predicted to be worse uh, than that of uh, 2022. As at Sunday, uh, July 7, at least uh, 18 states in Nigeria are on high alert for flooding, and uh, 15 people have died in the past week due to flooding. Now, some of the states affected by the uh, flood uh, so far include Yobe State, where at least nine people have died due to flooding uh, in that particular state. And I remember yesterday you referred to the incident in, in Edo, right? Yes. Yes, during the newspaper review. And then um, we also cited, you know, similar devastating incident in Lagos, uh, where lots and lots of people, you know, were affected. You know, those going to work and, of course, uh, you know, some uh, miscrimes, distorting people trying to look for alternative uh, paths. But again, Lagos State uh, is where rain, you know, uh, caught flooding and in many parts of the uh, 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 state, which resulted again, like as I said earlier, in thousands of residents being displaced. And uh, here in Abuja, the Trade Moor Estate was again submerged in water after very heavy rainfall. Now, away from uh, these two states uh, that you already mentioned, Adamawa, Akwa Ibom, Anambra, Bochi, 
Bayelsa, Benue, Borno, Cross River, Delta, Eboi, Edo, Imo, Jagawa, Kaduna, Kano, Katsina, Kebi. It's a long list. Uh, mm. Plateau, Rivers, Sokoto, Taraba, and Yobe states. Uh, I've also experienced uh, flooding this year. Mm. And again, just as another, you know, for emphasis, just a few days ago, uh, to be precise, July the 8th, we hear four people uh, were confirmed, you know, dead or killed by trees uh, which fell down in a popular market known as Jatu. Uh, following the downpour, with several people sustaining varying degrees of injury in that accident. A uh, very uh, terrible incident, uh, you know, looking at what happened in that market and taking a look at the pictures. And as the nation gra grapples with the devastating impact of flooding, uh, we ask, what are the root causes of this recurring problem? Year in, year out, the same story. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, what measures can be taken to mitigate its effects and uh, what role can governments, communities and individuals play in reducing the risk of flooding and building resilience? Absolutely. And we do invite you to join us as we again take a look at the issues surrounding flooding in Nigeria and also explore uh, the untold stories of those affected, the efforts of those uh, managing uh, you know, the situation or looking for strategies to mitigate it and to make a difference. We will also try to see if we can find long-lasting solutions that can help us build a safer, more sustainable future for all, of course, uh, as espoused by the uh, 2030 Development Agenda, leaving no one behind. And we don't intend to leave you behind today on our program, Good Morning Nigeria. But before then, let me properly welcome you. I am Claire Adila Buabdurazak. And I'm Ian Ray John. I join Claire to welcome you to the program. We're reaching you on the network service of the NTA. Chikudi Okolo Gwaja will join us shortly for the news paper review. Uh, but for now, Let's uh, join Dennis Adegunloye, who is here looking bright uh, and, of course, ready to dish out uh, the latest. Good morning, Dennis. Good morning, Good morning Yenri and uh, Claire. You're also looking quite uh, bright yourselves. Good morning, Nigeria. Here is the morning news. President Spolatinibu has inaugurated a high-powered committee to address issues relating to farmer herd clashes in the country. The committee is named the Renewed Hope Livestock Reform Implementation Committee. President Sinubu also pronounced the creation of a new ministry to be known as Federal Ministry of Livestock Development. That we need to create this economy, seize this opportunity, be it ranches you recommend and promote, I will work with it for the success of this program and the first success of the entire nation. Meanwhile, President Bolatinibu has been assured that various issues around the supply chain of petroleum products which resulted in the current scarcity of petrol are being addressed. Chief Executive of the Midstream Downstream Petroleum Regulatory Authority, Farouk Ahmed, who was in the State House to brief the President, promised that logistics issues are being resolved and normal, see, normal steady supply will be restored in a matter of days. He also updated the President on other regulatory matters in the sector. So I have uh, briefed him and uh, uh, just an ongoing normal briefing that I did because of the concerns that he raised about all the talk about uh, quality of products and I explained to him the quality of products that is being imported in the country versus the quality of products being produced locally. So and he's, uh, he's, he's uh, happy with it. At the National Assembly, the Senate is working on legislation that makes provision for the payment of compensation to victims of violence in Nigeria. A bill to repeal and enact the Violence Against Persons Prohibition Act, sponsored by Senator Issa Jibrin, highlights the need to create a victim support fund to cater for victims of violence and to make punishments more stringent for offenders. There are instances where mental elements is not needed but only the physical element, which is all that is required to complete the offense. 
this therefore calls for a review to introduce elements of intention. She may give consent, but she's not mature enough to understand what she's doing. The House of Representatives has urged the federal government to suspend the Samoa agreements it signed with the European Union to boost food and security. Economic developments. Uh, the Green Chamber voted in favour of a motion to this effect, sponsored by Deputy Minority Leader Aliu Madaki and 88 other lawmakers. Also worried that the praise gender equality as reported is a Trojan horse for deceptively bringing in all sorts of immorality to our country. There is nothing like lesbian rights or gay rights. It is about human rights, environmental protection and trade agreements. The Joint Planning Committee for the 30th Nigerian Economic Summit has been inaugurated with a call to action for the federal government to leverage outcomes of the 29th summit to inform government plans and programs. The committee, comprising representatives from the Nigerian Economic Summit Group and the Ministry of Budget and Economic Planning, is tasked with ensuring a successful summit that drives economic growth and development in Nigeria. The 30th Nigerian Economic Summit is expected to build on the progress made in previous editions, bringing together stakeholders from various sectors to share insights and ideas on how to address the country's economic challenges. The organized labor is calling on Nigerian workers to exercise a little more patience over the new national minimum wage as the leadership of the workers' unions are regularly engaging with the presidency to come up with an acceptable and considerate wage for all workers. President Trade Union Congress of Nigeria, Festus or Sifo, gave this update to newsmen on the sidelines of the maiden edition of the Petroleum and Natural Gas Senior Staff Association of Nigeria Women Conversation in Abuja. Yes, conversation is on. We, are talk we have not spoken with Mr. President directly, but we are speaking with the agents. Uh, we've had some conversations privately with uh, agents of government, from the office of the SGF, from the of office of um, uh, mi the Minister of uh, State Labor. From so we've been having a lot of conversations, but I think it will culminate uh, with an interaction with Mr. President, where we will also make our position known before he submits the bill to the National Assembly. We are telling the world that we are not just women. We are women with competencies. We are women of intelligence. We are women who are ready to walk the walk and then, you know, change narratives of women in the, in the industry and Nigeria as a whole. Those are the news highlights at this time.